Okay, let's uh, merge the request. So there are 10 changes for this one. Okay. We'll get 13. Project 11. Okay, so the thing is that this function, you place it inside the project 11. This function does not update the state, so we can keep it outside the React project directory. No need to put this function inside our component. If any function has related state items or any state variable attached to it, then you have to put it inside the project 11 component. Otherwise, since this is uh, something different, which is only just re returning the response from the server, so no need to put inside the project 11. Okay, this is the flat list, and this is the Okay, so let's approve this. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, let's go here. Project 9 is what? Simple. This is also simple, but we are getting it from the server. And this project 11 is so I don't see I don't see anything done here. Yeah, you're using price list here, okay. Okay. So flat list is only done here. Where is the uh, flat list with uh, API call? Okay, so this flat list with API call is not there. Okay, this is merged. Okay, now let's go again as we do every day. So what we do every day, I'll check the branch, I'll check out the main branch, I'll pull the branch, so I get the latest code now, I got the latest code now, now I'll create a new branch to work for today, to create a new branch, I'll say MK July 22. Okay, so this is a branch which I will be working on. You can also do this procedure now. So we can start. <coughs> so last time we did the flat list. Today we'll do the section list. So let's go to our project. So this is the flat list. Okay, done. Yeah, flat list is there, but uh, I have not used flat list here in this one. In the project 10, I am using flat list, but I am getting the data from locally. So in the project 11, I have to get the data from the server. Okay, so that that's the I will write down here, but I'll not do here. Get data from server and display as blacklist. Okay, so this is pending. I will do it today if I get time, otherwise you have to do it. Now, project 12. So here, we will create a structure which is a little different. So previously we have this structure. Now I will create a different structure so that I can have array of array kind of thing. So nested array is the task, and for this, 
we will be using section list for our use case. So I will use section list. Okay, so now let's first create the data, how the data will look like. I will say constant data equal to, I will put the data which I will be creating here inside this item. So before I put it here, I'm just creating it here and then I'll replace this part. Okay, so I will create first an array. So inside array, I will have different objects. Okay, so this is your first object. Like that, I will copy paste multiple times. So in this one, I will give some title. This I'll say title one. And I will also say data. Data will be another array. So data is another array. Now this array can have strings, number, or object. We can have object also. But right now, for simplicity, I'll just put a string. But later on, in the real case, use case, you can use object also. So I will say item 1 dash 1. Item. Okay, one second. Okay, item 1 dash 2 item 1 dash 3 so this is the first row and then I will add second then third and fourth so it will be 2 2 2 2 3 3 3 3 4 4 Four, four. Okay, so we have four structure. Now this is the array, and then we have a nested array. We have inside also we have array. So this is a special use case where we can use a section list. If we have only the array, then we can use the flat list. But now since we have two level, first level I have to define the title. Second level I have to define the data. So I will be using this structure. Okay, let me know once you are done with this structure. Okay, so Nitesh is saying done. So let's try to okay, let's try to do now use this data. So before I go further, let me let me re, re, replace this with the flat list which we did which we did in the project time. Okay, then we will update the code so in the project. Well, I will put a flat list and call the flat list here in the URL. So let me see first flat list is working fine and then I will replace it with the section list and this data. Okay, let's let me run the app. Okay, let's go to let's go to this project. I'll say yarn expo start. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Let me run the expo. Let's go to the project 12. Okay, I am getting. Okay, I am getting the some warning, but uh, all items are displayed properly. So let's see why the warning is there. Just saying what it's saying. Each child in a list should have unique key property. It should be unique key property. Let's see if we are getting, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. Okay, we are getting this ID. And here we have key. So we don't have unique key. So let's change it to key dot to string. It generally accepts the to string. It doesn't accept the numeric value this flat list so I'm changing it to to string let's try now again okay now I'm not getting any warning okay, so first I did the flat list and then now I will replace it with the replace it with this data and the section list Okay, so just uh, I've used the flat list and I'll replace it with a section list. So most of the key value pair are same for the flat list and section list. So I'll not change many things. I'll just first change this to section list. So right now if this is giving error. Don't worry about the error. <coughs> we'll, we have to fix few things. So we have the refresh control which is same. So we don't have to change the refresh control. In the key extractor, we have to modify this little bit. Since we will be changing to this one, right? We will be changing to this one. So we have to fix the key extractor. <coughs> okay, I'll, I'll fix it in, in a minute. Now, Okay, one second, hold on. Okay, I'm coming in back in one minute, okay?
okay okay i am back uh, so let's complete this one okay so for section list we need the refresh control i'll just put this item to see what item is coming and i will also see what is the index uh, index will come here as a second parameter okay so we will see what is item and what is index and then we'll change this part so if you see let's see if you're getting okay we will we have to fix everything then we can see now here we have only the render item here but for the section list we need one more in addition to render item we have to render the section header okay so there is let me explain you how it looks okay so first we have the header this is the section header where we have the title one and then we will be having sub items item one one item one two item one three then we will be having title two title two and then the sub items so the thing hierarchy will look like this one so we are seeing the render item which is nothing but this each individual items okay and then we have to also define how the title will look to define the title look we have to say render section header okay so this is the render item and this is the header how the header will look like okay so here will be also an arrow function and here we will get the section in the curly bracket I have, I will get a section let's console dot log the section and I will right now render the same thing same way so only thing here I will say if you see the section we have the title so, so if you see this data we have the title for each one so in the section I will say section dot title okay and for the item we directly have this one we don't have object so we directly have this item right this is a string since this is a string so there will be no item dot item there will be only item so whatever item we are getting it will display it. if this item is object that means if this is the object then then we can say item dot item then that makes sense but since this item is simple string so we will render directly this item but the, in the section header we get this whole thing and we have to display the title so I'm displaying the section dot title so we get the section header we get the render item data now we have to pass this data not this one so we have to pass this data okay so we are passing this data so right now in the key extractor since index will always be the unique so I can also say index dot key or I can go to the item and find something unique in the item and display it there also so it's up to me what I'm putting I'm using item or index so index will always be the unique so for now we'll put this one but when we get the ID from the database we can use the item dot ID something like that but right now index is fine okay, let's run and see what happened now okay still we are getting error let's see what error we are getting somehow we are getting error cannot convert undefined value to object okay we are getting somewhere undefined 
here we are getting item which is correct and I display the item here we are getting the section section and we are displaying the section dot title so this looks good let me see Okay, let me delete first this one and see what's happening. Okay, undefined value to object. Cannot convert undefined value to object. Somewhere we are getting undefined value. This error line number is not clear here, so I'm trying to find where exactly is the problem. We don't see the line number, but things are coming in section list. So section list somewhere it is. Let me go through each line. We have section list. We have the key extractor. Where I get item and index. Okay, so here, here data is not there it should be sections so there is a different key for flat list we have data for the section list we have sections okay so now I'm getting this correctly let's re reload the app again so this is the key sections for this case and if I do this we we'll see I'm getting the section with data and title and for each item I'm getting the individual item with the index okay so we are getting each item okay, let's comment this now since this item is not used I will put underline and then sections we are getting this data and then we have the render item of the each individual item. So this is the each individual item, item 1, 1, item 1, 2, item 1, 3. And this is the header where we, we display title 1, title 2, title 3. So for now, I will, I will delete the view part of each individual item. So I can display only the text. Okay, so I have item 1, 1, item 1, 2, 3 and I am displaying the title also and each item separately under the title okay so let's let's review what we did we don't need this one okay refresh control we have to do the refresh control part also let me add the refresh control part So we put the refresh control part, we remove the flat list. Okay, now the let's refresh what we did. We started with the section list. Why we did section list? The reason is we have the array of array. We have nested array. This is the top level array, we, this is the bottom level array. Since we have two levels of array, so we use the section list. If it was only one level, we would have used we would have used the flat list. Now this is the refresh control works same way when I refresh it, it works in the same way. Key extractor, you have to give it some unique key. Generally it comes from the database, we have to use that one. But since this is the dummy data, so I will be using the index for it. And it needs the string, so I convert to a string. Then we need the sections, that is the data. This is the data which we have, we pass it in the sections. Now the how each item will look, like item 11, how the item 11 will look that comes under render item and how the header will look that is the title 1 title 2 it will come in the render section header and that is what it is now we have to change this handle refresh function this is the handle refresh it is just putting the key and item but we have to format the structure like this because whenever i refresh i want a new structure which looks like this 
Okay, so that we'll do in in couple of minutes. Before we write the handle refresh, can can you write all this part and see if it is working like this? Let me know once it is done, and then we will write this handle refresh. I'll give you two minutes to complete this section list and test it uh, here on your mobile if it looks like this.
Is it done? Or what happened? No one is saying done. What no changes? You're not able to see changes? Yeah, so something is wrong, then debug. Now is the time to debug that. Just try to figure out. Put your code in the chat. I'll take a look, but you need to figure out what is wrong. Anyone else? Wherever you want, you can put here or telegram. Anyone else having trouble in displaying the data like this? Okay, so for RAM, you have not changed this part in the item. So that's the reason you are able to see the same thing. Here we have view, here we have only text, we deleted the view part. Kate, are you able to see like this? Okay, now, now since two people have completed it, let's complete uh, let's fix the refresh control part. Okay, let's complete the refresh control part. So previously we were only putting like this. We are putting like this. Now what we have to do, we have to display like this one. Okay, like data, like this. So what I will do, I will copy this one, copy this part and put it instead of this curly bracket. I'll paste this one. So only change now I have to do, instead of four, I have to do this ID. So let's replace this with back tick. And here I'll say dollar ID. So it will be dynamic. So instead, if it we're adding one more, we will get five number. Same thing we'll do with here. And here I will say dollar ID. And I'll replace this with this one and this one. And here I'll say two and three. So when I refresh, it will be in the same format. We have this one. Only thing will be we are updating the same format and with a new ID. Since we have to use this item because the refresh control uses the set item part. So what I will do now, I will copy this data part inside my items. And I'll delete this data. And I'll use the items here in the sections part. So instead of data, I will use items. Why I'm using items? Because we have to use this item. The data was temporary. And but why I replace with the items? Because my refresh control is using set items. So if I use the data, I won't be able to see the refresh items. So now I go to section list. When I refresh it, one second, got hanged. Something wrong, one second. Okay, let's refresh, reload it and try once again. We have this item. I refresh it, now you will see we have five item. If I refresh it again, you will see I have six items. Like that, it will increase one by one whenever I refresh the items. So just uh, use the items here, 
change, remove the delete the data and put it in here, the data, and change this part of the handle refresh. Let me know once it is done. I'm not getting new section list. What do you mean by that? I'm not able to display this refresh part or what? What is meaning of your question? Okay, let me see what you have. So, since you are using data, so when you refresh, you will not get the new item. You have to use the items. You have to copy this data here in this items and use this items here. Then only when you refresh, you will get the new part. Otherwise, otherwise you will not get the new part when you refresh. And you have to change this from key and item to this, the structure which you have, this one. Is it clear? Still you have doubt, just uh, open the mic and talk. I'm not, I won't be able to understand properly when you type. Okay, just ask me in the mic. Hello? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I cannot uh, get uh, uh, static item one two. Uh, only I get only old item one two three four. Okay, let me take your code and copy. Let me take. Let's see what you're getting. One second. Let me take your code. Okay, I took your code. What is the problem? So here it is item, here it is this one, so this mismatch, here just use the index. So you're getting this, right? Oh. 
one two two. Okay. Yes, I change. I want to change item to index. Yeah, because item mm -hmm. we don't have any unique key. Item. Okay. Okay. Anyone having any problem? I want you to do your typing. Don't copy from me because that way you will learn more. Any any questions in in this? Okay. So what we'll do next time? Uh, today I I cannot take more than that. I have some other work. But what we will do next time? I want you to I want you to work on the all the three part okay so what are the three part one is the scroll view and then the flat list and the section list so right now I created just with the dummy data you have to call the API for that one also and the API link I will give you tomorrow because I don't have right now API with this one. Like you have done the API for this project 10, no project 11. Like we have the API for this one. Similarly, there will be another API for the section list, which I will give you tomorrow. I have to build it. So whatever I did here, whatever I did the section list here with the dummy data, you have to replace it with the real data. Okay, so try to do the real data. If you are not able to do it, I will show you next time, but I want you to try it out and see where you are getting stuck. So just do the section list with the real data in the project 13. And you have to revise all these three. Next time, I will be taking a very thorough test on these three. So there will be a lot of I will be asking a lot of questions. Maybe I will give you a few exercises to do that, and you have to complete that exercise. So next time is next Friday. Uh, we will be a very or simple test test for above topics. So go through all three way, and you should be able to answer it or do the exercise which I will give you here you have to do it together in the class only right so just make sure not tomorrow on tomorrow I'll give you the API tomorrow I will give you API for section list right now you know you have API for the flat list and the normal but uh, tomorrow I will build this API. So like we have the flat list API, I will create the section list API. So what error you are getting? Okay, so make sure you master all these three things for the next time. And you should be able to perform all the three yourself. Okay. You should be, you know, mastering all these three way. Though in practical world, we will be using flat list more than any other thing. But for the test, you have to learn all three. OK, what error you are getting? I am getting only old list item 1, 2, 3, 4. I am not getting uh, item 1 or 2 uh, new list. OK, share your screen. <laughs> Let me see. Share the you have to become presenter and then share that. Show me. Oh. 
Okay, show me. This is item one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And I am not getting item one, this one, or item one, this two. Okay, go there. Let's see. You are using data. Okay, go up. Go up. Okay, you are getting project. Refresh the page. In that page is refreshed or no? Your page. Go to section. Still, you are getting empty. No, I am not getting it. Okay, go there. Go scroll down a little bit. Okay, can you go to app.js first? Let me see if your route is right. App.js. Go to app.js. So we have to project 12. Okay, go to home.js. So go to project 12. So you are navigating to project 12 section list correctly. Okay, now go to project 12 again. Let me put some changes. Go down, go down. So before section list, create a text. Before section list, create simple text, hello world. Do you know how to create text? Hello, yeah, here. Just put text. A bracket, hello world. Yeah, let's see if this is displayed. Go there, not check it. So we are not able to see hello world, right? Can you compile again in the in the blow in the terminal? Just press R to see if we are going correctly. And just uh, in the terminal, just press R so it will compile again. In the terminal, just press R. Not here. In the terminal bottom yeah you to start again maybe Still, you are not getting it, right? Yes. Okay. Go to there. Let's see why I'm not seeing that here on the same page. Somehow it's not. Go there. Yeah. Go to app.js. Go up. Project 12. Click this project 12 from 18 line number. Yeah, come on, click, come on, click, come on, click this project file here from here. Come on, click means? Yeah, control click, control, um, left mouse click. Yeah, so you'll go here directly, go down. So it is calling this one, right? Scroll view. It's not calling the, where is your project file? This is the project file actually. That's why you are getting old one. Where is this one? Where is this saved? So it is, is saved. Not in, yeah, copy this whole code. Come Control A. Yeah, go to that on the left side. This tab. Yeah, Control A V. Then Control V. Control A Control V. Yeah, save it. Somehow that 
I don't know where where it's calling that one. Another one is calling. Yeah, now. Why it is happening? Hmm? Why it is happening? I don't know how it opened. Somehow it happened. Close this, both the window now. Close both the window. Yeah. Now, go to the browser and see. Go to section list. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes I got one. Yeah, somehow it got a copy through some other file. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Any any other question? So next time, make sure everyone work on this three part. We'll go thorough based on this three part. Okay.